Well, this book, obviously, we're going to talk about, uh, and you emphasize a lot about how it's more than just Major League Baseball for you, and you've certainly had quite a childhood, and it talks a lot about that, uh, called The Stir Movement, Life, Justice, and Major League Baseball, and there's a... Uh, uh, no more of a human story we can get to about what you went through as a believe an eight-year-old in Thailand. Yes, yeah, uh, at that time we didn't really know. At that time it was more of a, uh, you didn't really think about human trafficking or anything like that. And, and so for me, uh, when I was walking down the street just ahead of my dad in the 80s, you didn't really think about all that stuff. You're, you're worried now just about letting your kid ride his bike, you know, but uh, back then we did whatever and there wasn't that much going on. And, uh, and I was just walking outside of, uh, on the street there and there was an adult uh, entertainment club that I walked by and a guy reached out and grabbed my arm and tried to pull me in. I was a blonde headed kid um, so with with being blonde knowing now what I know about human trafficking blondes are, are, are high uh, high value on the human trafficking market uh, and it was just one of those deals where at the time we didn't really think about it but now that you look back and my dad had to physically remove the guy uh, from me from pulling me in uh, it definitely could have been and quite possibly was a situation where I was yeah, I was trying to grab me so it, it just for me as I reflect back on some of my stories and history of um, going to different countries that had a lot of poverty at that time I probably didn't take in as much as I, as I should have but I was a young kid and now that I can reflect on those memories and know what I know now about poverty I definitely do what I can to fight against it.